When we look at the regulations for compost, you have to get above 55 degrees in the center of the pile for a full three days because it's that temperature above 55 for that full three-day length uh, period of time that will kill the weed seeds, that kill the human pathogens, kill the plant pathogens, and kill the root-feeding nematodes. And of course, in our plant material that we're starting off with, we've got to make sure that all of those disease and pest problems have been completely removed from our compost before we have finished compost, before we might be putting uh, that material out um, back on the uh, plants, on our soils, mixing it into our soils and improving the health of the soil and the plants that we're growing. So, must be above 55 degrees for three full days, but we don't want it to get above 65 degrees Celsius for any length of time. Every once in a while you might come out and measure temperature first thing in the morning and you'll find out that it's already above 65, then you've got to get it turned right away, immediately. Don't ever let these materials be above 65 degrees for any length of time. Because when we're above 65 degrees, that means the bacteria and fungi in that compost pile are growing so rapidly that they're using up the oxygen in the pile faster than oxygen can be diffusing into your compost pile. We're going anaerobic, and if we go anaerobic, we're making some very plant toxic materials. We're losing our nutrients, we're losing our nitrogen, our phosphorus, our sulfur as gases. We're dropping the pH of that material to some very low pHs if we allow it to go anaerobic. So temperature is a really good way to tell whether you're going anaerobic. And as long as you turn the pile, get oxygen back into the pile, as soon as you start to run out of oxygen, measure the temperature, uh, then you're going to compost and produce some really good compost with, as long as it doesn't go anaerobic for any significant period of time.